So looking at the rear panel starting from this side, first we see the AC inlet. Nice not to have external power supply units, everything's built in. Moving along, we have the control pedal inputs. These can be used for switched control operation or continuous control with an expression pedal such as the EV5. Four of these and they're totally user assignable. So you may, for example, want to use a switch to speed up or slow down the Leslie speaker cabinet speed. Here we have the hold pedal, which is like a standard sustain input, and then MIDI in, out, and through. So we can hook up to external MIDI sound sources if we wish to use the XP80 as a controlling keyboard, or we can bring in information to control the internal sound source. And we can even use the built-in sequencer to control other MIDI sound modules. Okay, over here we see an output for the click, and also a level control for that click. What is the click? Well, when you're playing along with the built-in sequencer, sometimes you need some audible cue to make sure you stay in time. It's particularly handy when you're working with a real drummer and you want him to play along to um, pre-arranged sequences as he can simply monitor the click and play along in time. Then we see the outputs. Well, I'm using master output mix left and right. We also have a set of outputs called direct left and right, and this is like a subgroup output. Handy if you want to direct some of the internal sounds to this output for external processing, things like drum sounds, bass sounds, and so on. You can actually create a sub-mix. Also very handy for monitor mixes. And then finally we have the headphone socket.